authors for the opportunity to present. Um, just keep it moving. No, we have no conflicts of interest, but we do serve as consultants to the uh, makers of the uh, endoscopic suturing device. The case is a 66-year-old female who presented with fatigue and melana. EGD showed a lesion that was biopsy proven as high-grade dysplasia on the lesser curve. Preoperative evaluation did not show any evidence of uh, high, uh, I'm sorry, invasive cancer or uh, full thickness uh, involvement. What you'll see here is the intradura and the lesion with the pylorus and the antrum on the right. We use chromoendoscopy to best dis, uh, discern the borders and any mucosal abnormalities. To ensure we had a good margin for resection, we marked out a margin with electrocautery. We then proceeded with a submucosal lift. We use a dilute solution of indigo carmine along with epinephrine injected into the submucosal plane. As you've seen in some of the uh, pre other videos, uh, one of the essential things is to A, be in the right plane, and B, to make sure that the lesion actually lists, lifts off the muscle layer, which you can see happens nicely here. We proceed to incise the mucosa with a needle knife cautery and enter the correct plane for dissection. It is easier to see the plane now that we've injected the blue dye in that space. You will occasionally, even in the correct plane, run into some bleeding which is easily managed endoscopically. You can see the inside distal edge of the lesion. So the big thing in this presentation was the development of a pulley system for internal retraction. And what you'll see here is a diagram of sutures coming through the mouse endoscopically sewn through the greater curve into the leading or the distal edge of the lesion, using that to anteriorly and lift uh, to, to retract the edge of the mucosal lesion off and proceed with dissection. The suture is passed through this manner with a dual channel endoscope after the tissue is grabbed so you can get a good purchase. As you'll see here, this is the first bite on the greater curve. Well, we're testing to make sure that we've got a good bite on the greater curve and we grab the leading edge of the lesion. Take another bite there. So this is that incised edge that we'd seen previously. You leave the anchor off as previously shown and you can see some retraction there as we test our system. We did this two more times, a total of three retraction sutures were placed. And we tested it to get into that space and you can see it lift off the underlying mucosa quite nicely and the underlying muscle under quite nicely. We then proceeded with a standard submucosal dissection using a uh, TT knife in this case, uh, triangle tip knife with cautery in this case. Again, the submucosal layer is very easily seen when it's been injected with the uh, blue dye. We've added here a plastic dissection cap to the endoscope, which also facilitates retraction especially helpful in larger lesions, which essentially creates a flap over the top of the endoscope, which without the dissecting cap would obscure your view and the retraction system. And here you see the hemostatic submucosal layer gone. The lesion has been completely excised. So the patient did extremely well post-operatively, as you might expect. Uh, she had a normal contrast esophago uh, upper GI study on pathology. She actually was found to have invasive adenocarcinoma, but it was a T1A lesion invading through the lamina, invading into the lamina propria, uh, but not through and not into the muscularis. The deep margin was free, as were the lateral margins. Thank you. Dr. Romanelli from Bay State. Uh, real, real quick question. Did you have endoscopic ultrasound preoperatively that suggested it was a T1 lesion? Is that what caused you to use this approach? 
we did have an endoscopic ultrasound, but it did not actually even suggest that it was a T1 lesion. Um, there was no evidence that it was actually invasive carcinoma. So what were your pre-op biopsies of it? High-grade dysplasia. Oh, okay. So it turned out to be a cancer. You thought it was dysplasia. Got it. Thank you.